हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ कॉफी विथ कॉन्सेप्ट यस गाइस सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द बेस थियरम एंड हाउ टू डील विद बेस थियरम क्वेश्चंस इन अ वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम नाउ लेट मी टेल यू बेस थियरम अंडर प्रोबेबिलिटी यू कैन मे बी पुट इट अंडर इंजीनियरिंग मैथ्स यू कैन पुट इट अंडर जनरल एप्टीट्यूड इट डजेंट मैटर बट वॉट मैटर्स इज यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट two marker category of question frequently in the examination and you know i felt that students have little bit trouble understanding actually where to apply bayes theorem what exactly it is okay so how to and where to apply bayes theorem how to apply quickly to get your answers in just a small amount of time i'm going to just cover in this brief video let us get started and i'll just start directly by taking the example of a question so that you really understand what is to be applied so of course with the bayes theorem there comes another theorem which is closely associated and that is known as the total probability theorem so directly and indirectly we'll be talking about both of these so consider two bags where bag 1 contains four blue and six green and bag 2 contains five blue and five green so if you have noticed till now there are total of 20 balls there are total of 20 balls 10 here and 10 here but the 20 balls are not collectively available together they are partitioned into two bags a story of this kind a story of this kind okay let's have a look into this guys a story of this kind here here it is okay here i have shown an example of three three partitions and don't worry we are not going to use any formula we'll solve this only by logic that is what i want to say but suppose that there is a there is a sample space which is partitioned into three different events such that they are disjoint mutually exclusive they don't have anything in common like bag 1 is separate from bag 2 they don't have anything in common okay so if i have two or three or any number of partitions of sample space and then there is the event which is common to all what is that event so question mein bola hai a bag is selected at random and a ball is drawn from it what is the probability that the obtained ball is green okay now where is the green ball sir green ball is available in the bag 1 green ball is also available in the bag 2 so there is something which is common and that is obtaining green ball it can be in bag 1 it can be in bag 2 similarly there is the event b which is common maybe to a1 maybe to a2 maybe to a3 it is common to all of the events my question is what is the probability of getting the green ball so what is this the ball the b here is like the green ball the b here is like the green ball what is the probability of getting the green ball so from where you can get the green ball okay maybe with a1 like maybe from bag 1 maybe from bag 2 right and suppose if there is bag 3 so maybe from bag 3 so we write p of b is equal to p of a1 intersection b okay the cases of b which are common with a1 the cases of b which are common with a2 and the cases of b which are common with a3 and then we apply the conditional probability concepts and we come up to this formula but i am telling you guys i do i am not planned this video to make you memorize and apply any formula yeah you can have a look into it we solve it p of ai into p of b given ai for all values of i but let's solve it by logic and then come to the bayes theorem also by the logic very simply what is the scenario a bag is selected at random and then a ball of course first you will select a bag and then you will draw on a ball na what is the probability of getting a green ball have a look into this have a look into this okay that is known as what a tree method i am going to present to you which i call it as the tree method okay the first you select bag how many types of bags you have you have two bags bag 1 and bag 2 right so what is the probability of selecting any one bag sir 1 by 2 1 by 2 which any one of two uh, two right now after selecting a bag the balls are drawn what are the type of balls blue ball green ball so from any bag what can be the outcome just expand the tree from any bag the outcome can be blue or green whether it is bag 2 also outcome is blue ball or green ball what is the probability now the question says bag 1 has four blue and six green so what is the probability of getting a blue ball four out of 10 green ball six out of 10 favorable by total similarly bag 2 question the question says bag 2 has five blue and five green so what is the probability of blue five by 10 what is the probability of green is five by 10 now very simple question is asking you what is the probability of getting a green ball so this is a green ball this is a green ball so in in simple line i will tell you what is the probability of getting green ball it is equal to probability of all the paths that will lead to the green ball okay probability of all the paths okay so what are the different paths what are the different paths this is path number 1 and then this is the path number 2 right so what is the probability of path 1 1 by 2 into 6 by 10 multiply all the gains all the probabilities coming similarly second is 1 by 2 multiplied by 5 by 10 that is your answer add both the paths 
okay add probability of both the parts so this is 20 and 6 plus 5 is 11 11 by 20 is your answer simple done done now let me present to you another version of this question same same situation but another version of this question there are again two bags bag one containing four blue and six green okay green is again in the concentration bag two contains five blue five green okay sir same configuration is given a bag is selected at random and then a ball is drawn from it very good now what i asked you earlier what is the probability of getting green ball but yahan pe the story is simpering a ball is drawn from it and it is found to be green a ball was drawn and now it is found it is told that it is green what is the probability now green to agya sir from where it can come it may be from back one it may be from back two what is the probability that it is coming from back two it can come from any of the bag so this is what is the story related with base if i generalize this again i have a sample space maybe which is partitioned into three different events a1 a2 a3 or maybe two like two bags or three bags or any number of bags it can be and there is an event b which is common to all what is that event getting a green ball because green ball can be from bag one or bag two or from any bag now when the probability of common event is asked when the probability of b is asked we apply tpt total probability theorem but we don't apply formula we have the logic and we will take up more questions to settle up that logic in the mind but whenever the common event is given like previous question says the green ball is already obtained so from where the green ball can come maybe bag one or bag two or any of the bag so similarly if i tell you event b is given what is the probability that it has happened with AI? It has happened from bag AI, bag 1 or bag 2 or bag 3. That is what is conditional probability. In the P of A given B, given B, is, given B is occurred, what is the probability of AI? What is the probability that it has occurred with A1, A2, A3? I have generalized it at AI. We just apply the conditional probability formula, P of AI intersection B upon PB. PB is substituted from the previous formula, total probability theorem. P of A intersection B, again multiplication rule. Sir, why to why are you showing the formula? I'm not going to solve by the formula. This is just a formality that I'm showing you the formula. And that is why I'm not even describing what is this multiplication rule and all. This is nothing. Everything is coming from the conditional probability formula, where the conditional probability formula is P of A given B is P of A intersection B divided by PB. Right. So you can write down P of A intersection B is PB into P of A given B. Okay. Right. Okay. Or if you want, you can write on P of B given both the conditional probability formula, but formula pe jana nahi hai. So how to solve this question by logic again? Okay. The probability of getting the ball from back to given that it is green. Again, I will draw the same tree. Again, we will go to the tree method, sir. Okay. Then let, let us, let us complete the tree. The tree I already have explained you. Okay. In the first question, we found out what is the probability of getting green ball. Okay. Now the next question is given that it is green ball given that it is green ball so there are two parts of green ball this is number one this is number two what is the probability that it is coming from back two so there are two parts out of which this one is favorable why it is favorable what is favorable event in probability favorable event is the one whose probability is asked whose probability is asked here back to so this path is favorable i will simply apply the basic law basic concept of probability favorable by total but what favorable path upon total path there are total two ways of getting green ball out of which what is the probability of getting it from the favorable path so sir what is the probability what is the probability of the favorable one one by two into five by ten what is the total ways of getting green right one by two total ways first one by two into six by ten Second is 1 by 2 into 5 by 10, right? So this is going to be 5 by 20, 11 by 20, 20, 20 cancel. 5 by 11 is the answer. And if you have understood this, let us solve another question in just no time, right? Consider a complete. And again, I will show you both the versions, probability theorem and Bayes theorem, okay? Consider a company that assembles computers. The probability of faulty assembly of a computer is P. So the computer may be faulty with probability P. And because it can be faulty, the company therefore subjects each computer to a testing process. So there will be a test to identify whether computer is faulty or functional. This testing process gives the correct result for any computer with probability Q. Matlab the testing process is also not always correct. With a probability Q, it gives the correct result. With probability 1 minus Q, it can give you wrong result also. Okay. What is the probability of a computer being declared faulty? I got tree in the picture. See how to solve it quickly. That's what I'm explaining you. 
how to solve it quickly. Let's make a tree. Okay, what is that? We have computers this time. How many types of like two types of bags, bag one and bag two? How many types of computer? Two types of computer. What are them? Faulty and functional. Faulty and non-faulty. Right. What is the probability of faulty? P given. So non-faulty, one minus P. Okay. Now, because the computers may be faulty, they are subjected to a test. Okay, so whether it is faulty or not faulty, you will apply a test, but the test may be correct, may be incorrect. So next stage is, whatever the type of computer may be, the test is correct or test is incorrect. Even functional computer test can give you correct or incorrect result, but the point to note here is, okay, if there is a faulty computer and if the test is correct, that means computer here, that means computer here is declared what? Declared faulty. If I test correct, so computer is faulty, right? Similarly, go to the next stage. The computer is all right. It is functional, but test gives you opposite result, incorrect result. So opposite result means what? It will declare a correct computer to be faulty, right? So here also, here also computer declared faulty. See, here it is not actually faulty. Here it is not faulty, it is functional, but test has given you opposite results. So what is the question asked you? The, sorry, the question has asked you what is the probability of a computer declared faulty. So there are two ways, again there are two paths, okay, in which a computer may be declared faulty, okay. So what is the probability, what is the answer? The probability is going to be probability of all the paths and for first it is P multiplied by Q. Added with for the second part, it is 1 minus p, 1 minus q. 1 minus p, 1 minus q. In one line, you are able to write down the answer. No formula, it is just logic. Just build up the tree, just build up the freak sequence. Okay, so pq plus 1 minus p, 1 minus q. This is on TPT, this is on probability theorem. But what is the reverse situation? Okay, computer may be faulty, may be functional, but there is one common thing it can be declared faulty. So first I asked you what is the probability of B? What is the probability of common event? Next, I can give you this event. Next, I can tell you, have a look into the next version. Okay, same, consider computer, that's a company, blah, 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 something is given. Okay, okay, the testing process gives the correct result with probability Q. Now, the, say, change the question. If a computer being declared faulty, what is the probability that a computer is actually faulty? Listen to this twist in the story. Computer is declared faulty. Computer ko faulty bol diya hai. Right, but there are two ways it can be declared faulty, right? It may be correct, then also it is declared faulty or it is actually faulty and then declared faulty, getting it? So question mein kya bola hai, computer is declared faulty, what is the probability that it is actually faulty? Okay, so it is declared faulty, na? how many ways of declared faulty? There are two paths, so again I will use favorable upon total, again I will use the idea that probability equal to, where is that question? Sorry. Yeah. Probability is equal to favorable path upon total path. Right. So how many are the total paths? Already I explained you. Total path means PQ and 1 minus P, 1 minus Q. That will go to the denominator favorable by total. PQ plus 1 minus P, 1 minus Q. What about favorable path? What about the favorable path? Let us check the favorable path. Right. Favorable path means computer is declared faulty. What is the probability that it is actually faulty? So this is favorable. This is favorable. So, first path is the favorable here. So, only write down the probability of that first path and this is your answer. PQ upon PQ plus 1 minus P, 1 minus Q. Hope you are able to follow. Otherwise, the comment box is there without any hesitation. Place any of your doubt in the comment box or message me in the telegram. I'll help you more. Just little bit more practice you need. Chalo, let's take one more question quickly. There are three companies. Now, this concept, this tree is not only applicable to two cases. Like first question, bag one, bag two. Second question also two cases, faulty computer, non-faulty computer, but it can be three or any number of things. There are three companies X, Y, Z that supply computers to a university. The percentage of computers supplied by them, okay, how many supplied by X, how many by Y, how many by Z, this is given to you. And the probability of those being defective, okay, the computers from any company may be defective or may be non-defective, but the probability of being defective is also given in the table, okay. Question is, given that a computer is defective, see, a computer may be defective from X, from Y, from Z. So that is what is the common event. Total computers are partitioned into three, X, Y, Z. Okay. 
out of all three, there is a common event that computer may be defective. If they ask you what is the probability of defective computer, that is TPT. Here they have given computer is defective. Find the probability that it was supplied by Y. Okay, like green ball is obtained, probability that it is coming from back to. Similarly, computer is defective. It may be X, Y, Z. Find the probability that it is a Y company computer. So again, I will start with my tree. But what is the first thing in the tree? The first thing in the tree is, again, computers, which are of here three different kinds, three different companies. Some of the computers are of X, some are of Y, some are of Z. What are their probabilities? It is mentioned. 60, now convert it into fraction, 60, 30, 10 means 0 0.6, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. Okay, so it is 0 0.6, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. Now, whether it is X company, Y company, Z company, every computer now has again two different cases. It may be defective, it may be non-defective. So, branches, tree, keep on increasing the branches. What you are doing, you are making a tree. Okay, so whether it is any company computer, it may be defective or non-defective, defective or non-defective, defective or non-defective. But question me kya bola hai? given that a computer is defective, okay, so what are the favorable paths of being a of, of getting a defective computer? Okay, so these are the favorable path. Number one, number two, number three. These are the favorable path. These are the total paths, I'm sorry. What is the probability that it is from company Y? It is defective. But what is the probability that it is from company Y? That means second one is favorable. So how will I solve the question again? How will I solve the question again? Okay, of course, probability of defective and non-defective is given in the previous table. Defective is given 0 0.01. So non-defective is 1 minus 0 0.01. Similarly, for Y company and for Z company, everything was given. How will I solve it? Okay, given that a computer is defective, it is coming from company Y. Favorable by total. Favorable path upon total path. Okay, so let us write down the answer according to the favorable path divided by total path. What is the favorable path here? Second one. So write down the 0.3 into 0 0.02. All multiply all the numbers that is coming up here. 0 0.3 into 0 0.02 divided by all the path probabilities. 0 0.6 into 0 0.01. 0 0.01. Next, Ajayka, same 0.3 into 0 0.02. And the third one is there. 0 0.1 into 0 0.03. 0 0.03. Right. Multiply actually by 1, 10 and 100, 1000. So 3 twos are 6. Then plus 6. Again, 3 twos are 6. 1 into 3 is 3. 6 is divided by 15. Or 0 0.4 is my answer. 0 0.4 is my answer. So 0 0.4 is my answer. It is D. Hope now you have started grasping it. Okay. And this is not more like a practice session. Yeah, I've taken three, four questions. But what is mattering here is if you have understood the concept of solving it, you need to little bit do more practice and you ensure your two marks if the base theorem question is coming in the examination. Right. Okay. Guys, one homework I have for you and I request you to solve this homework and place the answer. Everybody place the answer of this homework in the comment box of this video so that you can also match your answers with the other and then I will reply the correct answer. So do not forget to mention the answer of this homework in the comment box. Yes. Okay. Read it up yourself. Solve it up. How the tree can be made, whether it is TPT or Bayes theorem. Okay. So that's it for this concept video from my side. Hope you have enjoyed it. Hope you have liked it. Okay. And if you have liked it, do not forget to press the like button. Show your motivation. And please also mention other than the homework answer, please also in the mention in the comment box that how you like the video, whether you have understood the base theorem concept or not. Maybe I went little, little bit hurriedly because I wanted to make a small video, but I have taken enough number of questions. Okay. If you feel maybe there is one or two doubts, you can pause at that point. You can understand it because it's 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 a recording already available to you. You can play with the video now. All right. So do mention in the comment box about how you like the video. Seeing you in another Coffee with Concept session some, somewhere next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself.